Authorities are looking for answers to the tragedy on the Hudson River where a 47 year old woman and seven year old boy were killed after their boat overturned. First responders and ferry operators rushed in to help and managed to rescue the 10 others who were on board. CBS News Jessica Moore is live on the west side with the latest information. Jessica. Well, Mary, today investigators now say they believe that boat was simply overloaded for its size and it likely flipped over by a wave caused by a passing ferry and, of course, yesterday's choppy waters. Today, we're also learning the identities of those two people who were killed. They are seven year old Julian Vasquez and 47 year old Lindelia Vasquez. They were both part of a group of Colombian tourists in town staying in Elizabeth, New Jersey. An Army Corps of Engineer crane is seen pulling the boat out of the Hudson, two miles from where it capsized Tuesday afternoon. Today, investigators are focusing on the vessel carrying 12 people when tragedy struck. Jason Peters was on his normal route as captain of New York Waterway Ferry John Stevens when he quickly changed course. They were waving for us to come over, help, help. Exclusive video taken in Weehawken, New Jersey, shows the boat and its owner on a jet ski side by side when a sudden spray of water is seen and the boat flips over, leaving a crowd of people desperately trying to stay afloat as they waited for help. We got eight people out the water. What were they saying to you? Did you see the capsized boat? A few people were hanging on to it. Others were in the water. My crew started throwing life jackets, life rings, just to get them while we was getting them out the water. What isn't visible, a seven-year-old boy and 47-year-old woman who were trapped underneath. First responders worked desperately and unsuccessfully to save them. The individual that I found, the, the small one that I found, was wearing a life vest. Obviously, anytime it's a child, it uh, changes, you know, your maybe your emotional state, but you just have a job to do and you do it. Two of the passengers who were rescued are still in critical condition today. What's being looked into now is who and how that boat was arranged and operated. We'll have a lot more on that coming up tonight on CBS 2 News at 5. For now, we're live on the West Side. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.